So, we meet again. Uh, this is my fourth video of the day. Um, we are at Mosu Asian Barbecue and Hot Pot here in Albany, New York. Um, as you may know if you're a subscriber to our channel, we like to go to places like that are normally known, known as Yakiniku in Japanese. It's where you go and you cook your own food and all that kind of stuff. It's a really cool atmosphere, really awesome. We've done a couple um, places in Orlando, Houston, Dallas, and Lincoln. Um, and today we're doing it here in Albany, New York. Um, if you are new here, hello, hi, and welcome. We are Echo Travel Adventures. We are a travel channel here um, in Nebraska. We travel everywhere because that's what I do for work. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. Don't forget to like and comment. I really hope you enjoy this video. Okay, this is so cool. I, I know it's a little loud, but so we go here to our menu. It drops down. Do bar, bar uh, barbecue, sauce, merch, and all that kind of stuff. So what you do is you add a drink, whatever you want. Go to your sauces in your sides. You can do kimchi, pickled, daikon. Um, I do house soy. That's, this is really cool. Anyway, so then we can do a starter. So if Amber was with me, I would be doing like an edamame or a garden salad. Um, they got a couple other things that's really cool. So I am doing the $50 all you can eat, $25 for kids, kids under four is free. You get two hours starting from the time, so we get a last call about 30 minutes prior. So we're going to add some rice, you can do the little veggies, and stuff like that here too. Alright, we're going to do pork, we're going to definitely do some pork belly. I don't know, let's try the miso pork loin. Why not? Um, got chicken thighs, yes please. Miso chicken. All right, oh. All right, so we got the flank steak, sirloin steak, beef tongue, flank steak. Oh, scallion piece, uh, we got brisket. And this is all included in the price. So, I'm going to do the marinated ribeye. Um, I'm going to do the flat iron. They even have lamb, which I don't care for lamb. And then they have desserts. Wow. That's cool. Alright. So then, you go here to review your order. You call server. And then it goes through. And then you have about... So they have different things too that you can do. Like they have tricks and tips and stuff. This is really neat. Here's one thing that's clever. So they have chopsticks, but it's also silverware. Got the meat on the grill. So right now I got the flat iron steak and then the chicken thigh on. Over here, that's a ribeye. That's a pork belly. That's a pork loin. I realize it's just now not blur. It's blurry. Chicken thighs and then a miso chicken. So if I don't like it, then I can just change it, change it out, get whatever else I want. It's pretty cool. So checking in, um, that flat iron steak was marinated in white wine marinade. It almost tastes like uh, um, taco seasoning. It wasn't bad, but I probably won't order that one again. The chicken thighs are really good. I have nothing but chicken on right now. It's as if Amber's here with me, because that's all I would cook for until she was fed, and then I would start making my own. But we'll put a nice little dent into it. Okay, so I ordered some more meat. Look at that ribeye. That ribeye looks amazing. I got more chicken. So, um, there was some... There was some meat that I didn't care for. It was the uh, loin, the pork loin. It had miso. And that really, I wanted to try it, but I didn't care for it. So I asked her, I was like, so what's the protocol if you don't care for something? Um, 
because you know they don't want to, you to waste food, rightfully so, because it's expensive. Um, and she took it. She took it and said, "No big deal," you know. But I'm sure if that became like a trend or something, maybe that'd be an issue. But it's not uh, to them. They just like take it away. That's the one thing I've, I've sent back it was the miso pork loin. Just because I don't care for the miso doesn't mean that you're, it's, it was bad. But look at that. I do like coming to these places. There are a lot of fun. Oh, and they also sent me a... I don't do all the other stuff, so they gave me an extra thing of soy. This place is awesome. They are on point. I mean, look at them. They're clean. They're doing a great job. Just an awesome, awesome place to eat so far. I think so far, the only negative I would have is that you have one pair of tongs for raw and cooked, but that's my only negative. I'm sure if I were to ask for one more pair of tongs, they would give it to me, but I'm not complaining. I mean, we use the same tongs a lot of times when we're cooking, right? At home, when you're doing a barbecue. So it's not that big of a deal. But the stuff's really turned out pretty good. Um, I like the variety. The variety is pretty good. I mean, I mean, you can do a lot of different things. You know, you got your vegetables, you know, your chickens, and your beefs. I like, I just like, the, the variety is really nice. So, I mean, it's really good. Good thing. I mean, it's fifty dollars for one person. All you can, all you care to eat, all you can eat. You can't pass that up. All right, we got our dessert. We got ice cream, chocolate ice cream, and then we got a happy plate and a hot stove. Still, um, all in all, wasn't that bad. That no, wasn't bad at all. Holy cow! I ate a lot. Um awesome place uh the atmosphere is really cool um the music was a little loud but um other than that it was awesome food was good food was really good um i am the chef so i have to make sure it's good but they they marinated food there was a couple of things i didn't care for but that was my palate and that has nothing to do with the food itself um the staff is awesome they come around um i don't know how many people came to my table to get empty plates to make sure it's okay all that kind of stuff i mean i did have one uh server but she um wasn't like she was overwhelmed everyone else just pitches in and helps out so it was really it was really cool to experience that um but definitely if you're in the albany area i believe this is colony i call i, call, I don't know um it's off wolf road so I'm using a generic battery and the camera died. So uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about. But that's not the point. Um, definitely if you're in the area, it's off. Oh, yeah. So this restaurant's off of Wolf Road um, in Albany. Um, so definitely check it out and hit it up. It's really good. Um, it's close to the like mall and a couple other shopping areas. But this place was really, 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 really good. Um, amazing experience with the fifty dollars to all you can eat. Um, Gayukaku, I think it starts off at fifty forty five and then goes up, but then adds your drinks and everything. So it's not all included, um, like this place is. So um, Mozu Asian Barbecue and Hot Pot definitely hit it up. Awesome job, guys. Um, but if you made this far, guys, thank you so much for checking us out. Like I said, we are Echo Travel Adventures. We are a travel channel. We are here just to. It's been uh, travel the country and hopefully the world and and bring you guys as many videos as we can um, in our experiences. Um, but definitely, uh, if you're in the area, go to this place. Like I keep saying, <laughs> sorry. Um, Amber's not here to like elbow me and tell me to shh. Um, but don't forget to like and comment, guys, and we'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye, guys.